Um, it's we perform kind of a niche function in the, the theater industry. Uh, not a whole lot of theater companies have the ability to fly. It is a lot of logistical planning. It is quite costly. It can be quite costly, um, and it takes up a lot of rehearsal time. So we're we're very happy to be able to to be a part of as many productions as what we are every year. And it's it's a really magical thing for the audience in that you don't get to see a whole lot of flying shows. This is something that doesn't happen all that often in, in every community around the country. Um, so it is nice. It's nice to, to watch the audience see something that's different and involve children in theater and involve parents in theater so that we can continue the tradition of, of American theater in this country. It's amazing. It's a wonderful feeling. I Every night I get to fly. One of the things that kids dream of all the time. It's, it's just, it's a fun feeling and I've always wanted to be Peter Pan and, you know, boys get to do all the things that girls can never do. So, all those things that I was able to see my brother do when I was little that I couldn't, I get to do now. <laughs> Oh, um, the fact that we get to fly, it's actually really, it's a blast. It's fun. Because they just put you in a harness, you go up, you're yeah. done. Yeah. It's just like it's not that very much quick. Work. The cool fun. thing is they make you do it over and over to get better at it, and you're just like, sweet, I fly again. <laughs> but the biggest, the hardest part is you have to get on your mark or else you'll go off course. Or else you'll hit that or something. Because like, um, when I go towards Wendy, when I jump up, if I'm off on my spike mark, I could hit her in the face with my shoe. 